There's a brand new AI tool that does prompt to YouTube video, as in you type in a short prompt and within a couple minutes, it gives you an entire edited video with a voiceover, footage, text, and transitions. Then you can instruct it how to edit your video further using natural language. I cover a lot of AI tools on this channel, but this is one that's really made me think about how the world of content creation is going to change. So I wanna show you how it works. It's free to try out. This is the platform. Click create AI video. And now I've got an area to type the prompt. There's two ways to do this. You can give all the instructions in this box and click generate. I've tried just writing a short sentence and letting it create the video from that. And it does a pretty amazing job. But if you select workflow, it will guide the process a little more to help you add more specifics. I'll select YouTube explainer and it will pop up with some more options. I'll just do two minutes for this example. Then for the topic, this works particularly well right now for niches like money, travel, motivation, love, fitness, and business. I'll go with the top five places to live as a digital nomad. That kind of ticks the box for business and travel. Also takes me back to my van life days. And the next box is optional creative directions. Start with a short, engaging story about life as a digital nomad. Make the tone lighthearted and funny. You can be as specific as you want here. Depending on your topic, some good instructions to try are integrate a personalized story, use funny comparisons, use metaphors, include relevant movie references. There's lots of ways you could customize it, but those are a few I've had good results with. Then we'll choose the type of music. I'll go with upbeat. Then for the type of voice, I'll try a male with a middle aged British voice. I don't know why I always end up going with accents. Then it will put all those instructions into the text box. Now just click generate a video and let it do its thing. So it came up with a solid title already. Top five nomad nests live and work in paradise. That's great. And sometimes it will even search the web right here to find relevant articles to pull information from. Then on the next screen, you can select the audience, the look and feel, and the platform. The ones it defaulted to look good, so I'll click continue and let it work. It's ideating, then planning and generating the script, synthesizing the voice, adding tracks. I'll just skip to the end here. After we take a quick moment to appreciate the fish projector. That's a nice touch. So that took about two and a half minutes and this is what we have. Picture this. You're sipping on a coconut, feet in the sand, laptop in hand. This isn't a holiday, it's your everyday life. Imagine the freedom of travel, the joy of international friendships, and yes, the occasional scramble for good Wi-Fi. So where do these digital nomads flock to for the perfect blend of work and play? Let's count down the top five destinations. Kicking us off at number five, it's the vibrant city of Lisbon, Portugal. You get the idea. That's incredible. It's able to come back with that so fast. We have some options from here. Click edit media to change any of the stock footage. It has access to a huge library of media. You could also upload your own. So I want to switch this first clip to something else. Let's find someone working on a beach. Just hover to see what it will look like. I like this one, so I'll click apply and switch it out. Picture this. You're sipping on a coconut, feet in the sand, laptop in hand. There's also the edit script button to modify any part of it, add some personal touches about your channel, change the wording, things like that. I'll switch this from these digital nomads to we digital nomads. Editing that way is super easy and useful. The other really cool option in here is this box. You can use natural language to ask the AI to make changes to the video for you. This is still a new tool, so it won't be able to do everything perfect, but it's great at most of the common things. Like let's change the voiceover to female. Picture this. You're sipping on a coconut, feet in the sand, laptop in hand. That sounds great. Then I want to change one of the scenes. I think this first clip in the Bali section could be improved. So start with a more scenic clip in the Bali section. And let's check it out. Sure. Just missing out on the top spot at number two, we have the digital nomad Mecca, Bali, Indonesia. So it understood that and picked a good one. So you can go back and forth and make edits through conversation. Now, if you go back to this screen and click regenerate, it will give you a whole other version. I'll try inspiring this time. Let's play a little here. Ever fantasized about living life on your own terms, working from a tropical beach or a bustling city halfway around the globe? Welcome to the world of digital nomads, where work meets wanderlust, and the world is your office. If you have, then the life of a digital nomad may just be your calling. So, where are the best spots on the planet to live out this digital nomad dream? This one is great too. I like the graphics it used, and it actually had pros and cons for the different locations. Also, a really nice closing line. Until next time, 
stay adventurous. So you can do that a few times, find the best option to work from, but let's just go back to that first one. I like this how it is, but I wanna show another feature that's currently in beta. So you have to go to settings and turn on experimental features. You'll be able to export it to a timeline to get customizable for more advanced edits. That's what NVIDIA was focused on. Before this, they have a browser-based editing platform that's really easy and intuitive, unlike Adobe Premiere. So if you need those more advanced and precise edits, they said that will be released fully after getting some feedback for a few weeks. Like always, as you're experimenting and trying to stay at the cutting edge of new AI tools, there's gonna to be limitations. They're constantly working on adding new features and the main AI editor has been working really smooth for the stuff I've been testing. So again, there's a link down in the description if you want to try the platform out for free. There's a whole world of faceless YouTube channels this could streamline the process for. I could also see using this to storyboard ideas to build off of when you have an idea you just need to visualize or businesses that want to reduce the time needed to create social media content. As someone who's created videos like this from scratch, it's been pretty mind-blowing to use.